yeah, let's get into our prediction here uh, for uh, who we think is going to win this uh, wild card round between the Colts and the Buffalo Bills. The Bills, of course, 13-3, and three, the AFC East champion, uh, the uh, two seed in the AFC playoffs. Um, you know, looking at this matchup, I mean, the Bills, like I said, 13-3 AFC champs. Uh, AFC East champs, they finished the season 6-0 and after their bye week. Of course, there was like a little bit of a stretch during the season where they struggled offensively a little bit, especially with Josh Allen and, and, and company there. Um, they, but this season, they are 3-2 and against playoff teams, and they are 10-1 and against non-playoff teams. I mean, I know you mentioned the Colts uh, and their record versus um, you know playoff teams this year, but I also think that... AFC playoff teams, AFC- I... I- I'm pretty sure that's true because they, yeah, that brings their record up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they beat the one seed from the NFC. Right. The Packers, I, I think they also beat the bears. I think the Colts overall schedule and that was in Chicago when the bears were also like starting five and one and beating the Buccaneers as well and all that kind of stuff. So I, I think the Colts a, are a different team than they were early in the season where they had some of those losses, obviously not all of them, but some of them when they oh, lost. Especially the, the Browns. Browns, yeah. That's hey, what remember, I, against the Browns, they did not have Darius Leonard. Yeah. So that's, so that's, yeah, that's one thing. And then I just think overall the Colts' schedule has been way tougher than what the Bills' schedule has been. Not, I mean, obviously the Bills are the two seed. They're not a fluke. I'm not saying that. But at the well, same time. The division schedule alone. Right. The Colts had to play the Titans twice, whereas the Bills had to play the Dolphins. Know, the, the Jets and the Patriots, which is kind of a weird thing to say, but also the, uh, I mean, yeah, the Dolphins, uh, you know, who were a playoff kind of, you know, around their caliber team, but still not, obviously, they're not a playoff team. So um, it's definitely tough. Um, and, and also with the Colts, they also have a, a Texans team that was down this year, but definitely, you know, still a solid. Competitive yeah, com- Texans team. Right. So, I mean, obviously the AFC South a lot better than the AFC East. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, the schedule for the Bills was a little bit lighter than the Colts. The Bills do have the fourth best offense, uh, second in passing, uh, 19th in rushing. But looking at the stats, the Colts are 4-1 and one versus top 16 passing teams. So even though the Colts have struggled this year against the pass statistically, they have ultimately come back and won the game um, against those teams um, that have had you know these great passers on their squad. I mean, look, earlier in the year they beat you know Aaron Rodgers. They've had to go up against you know uh, you know some Baker Mayfield, Baker Mayfield some great some great quarterbacks this season, um, and still you know have have come up rather favorably or at least you know somewhat favorably. And then the Bills do have the tenth best defense. They're eight, eighth against the pass, twentieth against the run. Um, the Colts have played four games against the top 15 defenses in football, two and two record. Um, against those defenses, they have scored 22 points per game, which versus the rest of the, uh, their opponents, they scored 30 points per game. But I mean, hey, that's still 20. So that's still 21 points if the defense can play well, and that's gonna be that's gonna be the big test. Is it's going to be the Bills? You know, it's gonna be Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs. And, you know, the rest of the Bills wide receivers against the Colts secondary. If the Colts secondary can contain and shut down um, Josh Allen and, and that passing game, uh, the running game isn't super great for Buffalo. So uh, the Colts can shut that down and the defense can flourish. But if, you know, Josh Allen comes out and, you know, spreading it all over the field and putting up, you know, a ton of stats and a ton of numbers like he can possibly do, then that's where the Colts will somewhat flounder. But my ultimately per- my ultimate prediction is that the Colts do win I think they do upset the Bills this week uh, and advance to play the Chiefs uh, in the uh, divisional round. I do think the Colts get the win here. Yeah, I agree. I do. I do think the Colts will get the win here too, for two reasons. One, our defense. The Colts' defense is really good. Um, Darius Leonard. This is his first career playoff game, so you know he's going to be fired up to play in this one. Um, secondly. When I look at the Bills' defense and I see that they're 20th versus the run, and I just see what Jonathan Taylor has done here recently, one of the biggest keys to beating Josh Allen is keeping Josh Allen off the field and controlling the play of the 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 play clock or controlling the the clock, you know. And if you have a run game that can just keep pounding, keep pounding, keep pounding, keep pounding, and keep pounding and get stronger as the game goes on that is going to be very beneficial to you. I mean, that, that's that's the key not only to beating Josh Allen, but that's also the key to beating Patrick Mahomes or anybody. I mean, 
seriously, that, I mean, there was several times, I mean, I think even, uh, maybe not against the Packers, that was a little bit more back and forth, but if, if the Colts run game can show up like it has here in the past few weeks, that gives the Colts the best chance to win. You're not going to see, um, you don't, you're, one thing you don't want to see is you do not want to see Phillip Rivers get into a shootout with Josh Allen. That is not going to end well for the Colts. Um, all it takes is a few stops by the Colts defense and the Colts offense to run clock with their run game and get and punch it into the end zone a couple times. And that is going to be a huge factor. That's going to really boost the Colts odds of winning this game because of just being able to keep Josh Allen off the field for long periods of time and get your defense rest. Because one of the things that people don't talk about with the Bills is Josh Allen's ability to extend the play with his legs. He's got a great arm, but he also has a great has a great ability to scramble and extend plays. Um, so the Colts are going to have to work. I mean, Colts know they can get good pass. They can get a, a good pass rush and get pressure on Josh, Josh Allen. But the thing is, can you contain him once you get that pressure on him? Because he has that that scramble ability. So that's going to be key uh, for them as well. Now, he's not a Lamar Jackson by any stretch of the imagination, but he's also not uh, Aaron Rodgers or, you know, uh, Philip Rivers by any any means either. So that, that's going to be two keys to this game. Can the Colts contain Josh Allen when he uh, extends a play? And can the Colts run game just keep pounding and keep Josh Allen on the sidelines. And if they can do those things, Colts win this game. 